Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to see the very first Google uh, certificate that's IT Sport. Let's uh, jump on it. So you can see that uh, this one is the uh, is offered through Coursera, and it was the first one Google uh, launched. I did take this one. Uh, let's go to Coursera, and the landing page has been changed. That's cool. So launch a new IT career or advance your IT career so these are two uh, this one is definitely um, obviously not on the main page uh, back there but this is the one that I took and I completed it uh, last summer I haven't completed this one I uh, I just got lazy so let's go into this one <clears throat> and here is the uh, already familiar screen and you can see already enrolled I took it last uh, year and if you can go to courses there are I believe there were six ah, the sixth one was removed uh, the, so there are five uh, the one I enjoyed the most was this one uh, operation system and you become a power user it was all about uh, command line <coughs> oh no maybe not process management uh, no I think <laughs> probably this was the most boring uh, let's go back and try the courses again it was definitely not this one but this one was hall of information and uh, <coughs> yeah it was uh, the command line was probably this one and bits and bytes of computing networking it was the most important one um, in terms of my career I learned a lot about networking and the second one was this becoming a power user where I learned the uh, command line and these two alone uh, helped me land a job there was this interview uh, actually a couple of interviews they were really focused on uh, Linux command and uh, networking and uh, I was able to answer those questions funny thing is when uh, in doing for Amazon uh, during the technical interview uh, engineer asked me the interviewer he said uh, he gave me different domains uh, like Windows this that and and he said what's your weakest uh, domain and I was like hey okay I I'm like he asked me to rate myself uh, in Windows and this and that and I said that uh, in networking I had no idea about that time so I said yeah networking I'm gonna go 3 by 10 okay the, from, from that point on the whole interview the technical interview was nothing but uh, networking he only asked me questions about networking he did ask me question from uh, for Linux and some other things but they were uh, like uh, soft skills uh, Linux some commands like uh, hey, if you want to run the uh, if you want to see the running processes on Linux how you gonna do if you want to list a directory what are the commands but these were like a couple of question uh, yeah uh, rest of the like 90% of the interview it was uh, all about networking <clears throat> so I was able to answer because I had taken this one and the other one is this uh, Linux uh, commands I was able to do it from here and this is the one where I believe uh, what happened was that during this course uh, like you have to uh, go to quest lab uh, I'm actually uh, slipping the name here but th there is actually a third party um, <clears throat> that have like virtual machines you actually log into those machines perform the actions and then your uh, actions over there are transferred over to Coursera. Coursera can see if you have performed them right or wrong. Most of the time, there was hint on the screen, but uh, one time, I, <clears throat> like the final quiz, that was uh, a final quiz of this uh, one. Let's see, somewhere here. What happened was there was big one, and. It, no, not like there was a giant uh, um, quiz or exam kind of thing that was hundred minute long, and it had uh, six in different scenarios, and you had to do everything from memory. And <clears throat> luckily, 
I had practiced it well so yeah you can see Linux log so it's definitely this one so luckily I had practiced uh, <clears throat> well uh, on one of my virtual machine like I had a I had installed a hyper V and had a Ubuntu running so I was practicing on it as well um, during like uh, watching a video she is explaining the instructor is explaining something and I will go and do it on the Ubuntu like I will pause the video and do it and see this thing and that's when I learned uh, that Linux is uh, case sensitive so <clears throat> back and forth because of that i had that in memory and i was able to do it uh pass that uh, exam and the same thing i was able to answer the question on the interview as well so uh like uh, that's why i've been pressing it a lot that whatever you do uh try to uh not to rush yourself to complete it hey i'm gonna complete it in one year or uh, sorry one month or two months and i'm gonna make a video about it or i'm gonna brag about it don't this course uh the uh, any course from Google if taken seriously and given it good enough time to let the information sink in it will help you a lot and it will help you a lot not to get get a job to speak to in a conversation you will be able to explain yourself to explain the concept you will have a technical conversation where you 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 will sound like that you know what you are saying or doing and that gives you confidence people start listening to you and they say okay even if he is getting this whatever you're doing at the project at hand uh, you are asking question but he has a general idea so he he knows this <clears throat> so that's how you uh, you have to go about these courses and uh, the most one was definitely uh, the this one like uh, power users and Second best was bits and bytes of computer networking, even though the instructor, when he was uh, um, explaining that uh, the headers, that was boring. And uh, <laughs> he, he, listening to that and all that and trying to keep up with that at the time, I would say, hey, okay, I have to I have to learn this, I have to listen to this, and I have to memorize this. But later on, I was like, uh, I, it's too much. And uh, uh, obviously, right now, I'm taking networking plus, network plus, and it's not that important the headers and all that yeah you don't have to memorize them you can always look up the uh, those uh, schemas uh, on google uh, but you really don't have to so far i haven't uh, come across a situation where i had to go and uh, that deep so it's good knowledge but you don't have to panic like i did now it's security against uh, digital dark arts is uh, probably most people will be interesting uh, in understanding the security threat so cryptology security a triple a is uh, authentication authorization and accounting so this you you will see a lot especially if you are going into present forensic so this last one is more like a theory nothing hands-on so here and there maybe the show you windows firewall and all that but uh, for security uh, for security or anything uh, if you, you want to pursue go for at least county security plus and if you just want uh, basic information so you can speak in conversations go with the uh, professor messer's videos on security plus and especially this uh, new one just launched this year uh, so that's a good one <clears throat> all right so at the end you get do uh, you do get uh, certificates for each individual course as well as the final one uh, after the completion so how fast i was moving on this course was i was uh, completing one module a week so that's how easy or uh, interesting or you know interactive it was uh, I it was COVID time uh, summer I was at home working from home I had a home set up uh, really comfy chair so what I would do is that uh, I will uh, either watch some videos before starting work and after work yeah here and there I will watch and like every day not more than maybe maximum 90 minutes not not even that 
uh, hardly ever like two hours every day like every day I w after work I would uh, go through this course and I was able to complete it in uh, f about five or six weeks <coughs> so that's how I know that uh, what it takes that's how you have a baseline idea uh, what to expect and I can say that I did enjoy this course and uh, I liked it enough that I say okay I'm gonna pursue the IT automation unfortunately I could not complete that's a whole different story a lot of uh, big life events happen and I had no time now I'm getting back to it uh, hopefully this summer uh, right now like I said I'm doing networking network plus and uh, hopefully I will give you an update so let's wrap this video here if you have any questions feel free to comment and I will be happy to uh, answer them uh, other than that uh, if, you, if this if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one